Hi, this is Magdalena, and you are watching Hormones Balance Starter Kit video series. You know, about 80% of people who contact me say they eat well and they live a clean life. Maybe that's you too. And most certainly, that was me too. I was not the person who lived on fast food, sodas, and sugar, unlike many people. I exercised and meditated, well, sometimes. Yet, I suffered from many more hormonal issues than I should have. If you looked at my lifestyle, nobody would have believed that this is a woman who had hyperthyroidism, which later became hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune condition, a serious one, adrenal fatigue, and then estrogen dominance. So let me tell you what happened, because that could be you too. I will preempt you by saying that oftentimes what we think is healthy is not so healthy. And what is right is not so right for you. Like many people, my personal health crisis brought me here today. I was a high-flying advertising executive, had a knack on my trade, I was doing strategic planning for Fortune 500 brands, covered the Asian region, lived in six different countries, and I was the go-to person in the industry. I loved it and I was totally addicted to it. Until this crisis struck, intensifying anxiety attacks, forgetting events that happened the day before, severe mood swings, sliding into depression, landed me with a diagnosis of Hashimoto's. My TSH, T3 and T4 were within range, but my TPO antibodies were over a thousand, where the norm is 30. Based on these, modern medicine only treats TSH, T3 and T4 and has no solution for the high antibodies that were a reflection of the raging inflammation in my body. I was sent home with, we have no cure for you. It was the most lonely and hopeless time of my life. Looking back at it now, it's hardly surprising that my immune system was weak and my hormones were so out of whack. I was not a breastfed baby, my immune system was therefore weak, and in my twins I lived through the Chernobyl nuclear disaster and we ate contaminated food for weeks after the explosion happened. Due to a weak immune system, made even weaker by chronic food intolerances to eggs, gluten and dairy, I suffered from chronic ear infections, eczema as a child, and later severe acne, migraines and hormonal imbalances for early adulthood. All clear signs of chronic inflama inflammation and a suppressed immune system. As my advertising career took off, I was under chronic stress, lived in very polluted China, which also contributed to high mercury and lead levels in my body. I was experiencing exhausted adrenals that were made only worse by my intense and competitive athleticism. In other words, I was an ideal candidate for an autoimmune disease. Refusing to accept my disease, I went to a nutrition school to become a certified nutrition coach to really know how food can heal. I also dove to every thyroid and hormones book I could buy, sought answers from numerous endocrinologists, alternative healers and naturopaths to filter it down to what's critical in historic my hormonal balance and my immune system. And as a result of that, I founded Thyroid Diet Coach, my first nutrition practice dedicated to women with thyroid problems. If thyroid is your issue, you might want to check out my website at thyroiddietcoach.com. As much as I have managed to get my thyroid under control, the TPO antibodies dropped from 1000 down to 66 and I'm still working on getting them under 30. And I started feeling great. But in 2012, I started experiencing cyclical hair loss. And I would lose 20% of my hair in one month and then take 2-3 months to get it all back. After many, many doctor visits, I was diagnosed with estrogen dominance. To read the full story and see my lab work so that you also know what to order, please go to my website hormonesbalance.com and click on the About button. I attribute my recovery to a few critical factors. Restoring the health of my digestive tract, eliminating foods, intolerances, candida and parasites, and populating it with beneficial bacteria. Cleansing my liver, stabilizing my sugar levels and cravings and getting enough sleep. But also switching to organic and highly nutritionally potent food, addressing all my nutritional deficiencies. Today I feel better than ever before. Free of all symptoms of hyperthyroidism, healthy adrenals, estrogen levels all under control. I have more energy than most 30 years old. My skin is glowing. I have not had a cold in five years. I sleep well and I enjoy a wonderful physical and emotional equilibrium in my life. Hormonal rebalancing in women is what I dedicate my life to. It's ironic but true. My disease became my destiny. The power to make changes is within you. Nobody can take that away from you. 
Rebalancing your hormones without hormonal pills and creams, it's not quackery, it's common sense. If you let a few things to work in your favor, like good digestion, liver function, sugar levels and sleep, you will get there too. Come on on this journey with me.